Let's talk about what neuroassessments you're going to need to do on a routine basis. So along with level of consciousness, pupillary assessments are some of the most fundamental neuroassessments that we perform. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. The acronym we use for knowing what to assess is PERLA. It stands for pupils equal round and reactive to light and accommodation. So the first thing that we look at is whether the two pupils are equal right to left. So here's a few examples of normal, unequal, uh, dilated and constricted pupils. When we look at whether or not they're equal right to left, you can see here, this one is much larger than this one. So the patient's right pupil is larger than the patient's left pupil. Now, sometimes patients have had cataracts or other surgeries that give them abnormally shaped pupils. So we need to determine whether or not they are perfectly round. Then the next thing we're gonna do is shine a light in each eye to determine if they react and if they constrict briskly. But ultimately we, want, we just wanna see that it actually reacts. Then we're gonna look at size. So here's a few examples here of sizes. We could be one millimeter, two millimeters, four, six, eight, et cetera. Now, the last thing we check is accommodation. And I'll be honest, most people don't check this, but they still chart Perla. What we do is we have the patient look at our nose. Then we're gonna put our finger up and have them shift their focus from our nose to our finger. So when they're looking at something that's a little bit closer to them, their eyes, their pupils should constrict in order to focus on that closer object. If all of these things are present, you would document pupils equal round and reactive to light and accommodation. You would say what size they are, four millimeters, and usually I'll write brisk. Now, if one pupil is blown, like in this image, they may have a stroke or a bleed on the brain or a lesion on that side of the brain, okay? So any pupils that are fixed and dilated like this is definite sign of a neurological problem. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.